On today's show, we take a look at the Xbox One S console and if it's actually as slim as originally thought. On top of that, there's also news regarding the next Elder Scrolls game, so let's get into today's news. G'day guys and welcome to the show where I report on the latest in gaming news. If you do end up enjoying today's video, please remember to smack that like button real good. And now let's jump to the first news report on today's show. And it's that the Xbox One S console, which is their brand new slimmer Xbox One console that is due to come out in August, may not be as slim as we all originally thought. A lot of people have been sending me tweets over the last week or so, but I sort of pushed them to the side. However, I'd have been popping up showing off the difference between the original trailer from E3 that Microsoft showed off how much smaller the Xbox One S is compared to the Xbox One original console stating it's 40% smaller and showing off this image that we can see on screen which shows it to be quite a lot smaller. But the thing is many images have come out since then showing off the actual Xbox One Slim console next to the original Xbox One console and you can see it's nowhere near the size. The big question here is, is Microsoft misleading its customers? What are they doing here? Well, personally, I think they accidentally are. They're not really intentionally going out there trying to mislead their customer base. When you take a proper look at this image here showing that it is 40% smaller than the original Xbox One console, you can see that they probably went for 40% smaller in all dimensions, which is wrong. That's a mistake on Microsoft's part, but I don't think they're really trying to mislead anyone there. The new Xbox One console is meant to be overall 40% smaller, but not in every dimension. And that's where this image goes wrong, and hopefully Microsoft do address this matter. For anyone out there really complaining about this, I don't think it, you should be wasting your time with it. It's just one of those things that was a, maybe a little bit of a mistake. On top of that, it's just a marketing piece. It's meant to kind of give you the idea that yes, it is quite a lot smaller. And the thing is, at the end of the day, the console is still quite a lot smaller than the original one and it doesn't have the power bricks, so it's still an awesome machine and it is quite a lot smaller and it's basically a Blu-ray player with 4K capabilities at a pretty good damn price. But anyway, now let's move on to the next gaming news report on today's show, which is that WWE 2K17's cover star has been revealed, and it is none other than the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Yes, that is right, Brock Lesnar, hailing from Suplex City, the night mayor of Suplex City, as Paul Heyman would say, and he does say in the trailer, which reveals that he is the cover star for WWE 2K17, and I am actually in love with this cover. No, no, I'm not in love with Brock Lesnar and his muscles, but I'm, I just like the cover, okay? Come on, guys. <laughs> now, personally, I probably would have preferred someone else, someone more full-time, rather than Brock, who shows up a handful of times a year. Maybe a Dean Ambrose, or personally, I'd like to see Seth Rollins up there. I'm just glad at the end of the day, we didn't get a John Cena on the cover, or maybe even like a Roman Reigns. That would have probably made me pretty sick and probably wouldn't have bought the game just because that cover. Or I just would have bought it digitally instead. Now, some people did state they'd rather see someone like Goldberg, but that doesn't really make sense because he's a pre-order bonus. So if you don't pre-order the game, you wouldn't get Goldberg. So why would he be on the cover of the game if you don't actually get him unless you pre-order? So yeah, that's the reason why Brock's on the cover. Plus, he's a megastar. He's known by everyone. He's also doing UFC at the same time as WWE. So yeah, it's quite an obvious choice to WWE to do Brock Lesnar on the cover. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you wanted Brock, if you're excited for Brock on the cover, or if you'd like to see someone else. But anyway, now let's move on to our final gaming news report on today's show, which is some sad news, and I hate to end it this way, but Elder Scrolls 6 is not in development right now. Pete Hines from Bethesda has stated on Twitter that we aren't working on the Elder Scrolls 6 at the moment. He responded to a question on Twitter that asked about any focus being taken away from the Elder Scrolls 6 by other big games at Bethesda and he basically said we aren't working on the Elder Scrolls 6 at the moment so right there basically it confirms that they aren't working on the next game this is sad news but at the same time we do now know that they aren't working on the game and they're focusing their efforts on other parts of other games so that's pretty cool right there you can take this as a half glass full or a half glass empty situation it's up to you and there we have it, that is the gaming news for today. Hopefully you did enjoy it, but now Gorilla Man, please hand me that question. 
Thanks for all that, okay guys. And the question is, if you could buy only one more game in this year, 2016, what game would it be and why? So get creative with your answers and put them down below in the comment section and you can end up on the next show. But if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to smack that like button because I'm Champ Chong, my access is Charlie here.